Nepenthes truncata cross edwardsiana is looking so awesome, and I really wanted to share this plant with our viewers. I'm Dom here at Redleaf Exotics, and today's video is going to be a highlight on this beautiful hybrid created by Exotica Plants. It does get nice and big, so let's show you guys some truncata edwardsiana. <laughs> So last week I was visiting Pennsylvania and I got to see my family and now I'm back and there's a lot of really cool pictures in the greenhouse and Truncata edwardsiana is one of the plants that got a nice big new picture and it is not this one. Um, so that's what inspired me to do this video. Um, this was released and created by Exotica plants around a year ago. We have done uh, two or three releases of them through the imports and we do have a lot of smaller plants growing on. They're so vigorous. You could see the big truncated leaves and I'm gonna show you guys this picture. Now you could see like, you know, some of the smaller ones here, this one, this one. I love this new picture. Ah, look at this. It is big, it is very tall, very Edwardsiana-like, and this plant has so much more growth and size to gain. I bet these will be at least close to like 17 inches when they are fully mature. This thing is so beautiful. And unlike, you know, I like to compare them to the Trismodiensis hybrids or whatever, um, the Edwardsiana hybrids are putting a lot more teeth into things, you know, even than Hamada and Velosa. The teeth are really shining through as to where usually you get kind of, you know, more muted, a lot more muted of a peristome with some of the other things, depending. But I'm loving Edwardsiana hybrids. Tough, vigorous. These things are like... I would say these are more like growing philodendrons than actually growing nepenthes. They're so tough, they do grow fast, and they get some nice leaf jumps, tough uh, leathery leaves. And I'll show you guys another one that I'm loving, uh, a different variant. They're seed-grown plants, and it is, oh, right here. <laughs> this one is a little slower growing, um, or a lot, you see all the plant, but how small that plant is, but these get a little more squat of a pitcher um, for the size. It does have some catching up to do, but you could already see how squat this is and how elongate this one started off at the same size. And a lot more going on in the lip. Very compact, but like broad, thick features, chunkier. So this one is my favorite so far, even though, excuse me, it's smaller. Um, but this one is really the biggest so far, and I'm so excited about it. Um, you know, if you love Truncata and you love Edwardsiana and you don't have this hybrid in your collection, they are and were very expensive, you know, five, six hundred dollars, even twelve hundred for larger ones. Um, but we do have them on the site, I believe. If if not, we're gonna do an update this Friday and I'll revamp them. But there are a nice number left, and they are an expensive plant. But I mean, look at this. And they do grow fast and they are tough, especially for indoor growers. I think a lot of people are scared of the price and they just, you know, but because it has Edwardsian in it, but it's not hard to grow. And I'll show you one just here around the size we're selling. Um, I'm gonna relist some. I have to freshen up the photos. You could see the leaf jumps on them and nice teeth at a small size too. Really, really neat but a really nice, vigorous plant and one of my favorite Edwardsiana hybrids created today. I mean, I love Truncata. Any primary Truncata stuff is so beautiful and this has proven to be very beautiful and I'm loving the teeth. I would suspect that these would do fine in lowland conditions. This is cooler in this greenhouse. They still love it. Like I said, they are very tough plants. Truncata is more of an intermediate grower and Edwardsiana is like intermediate highland which gives this plant really strong, strong traits. I love Truncata hybrids, like I said, and this one's just really proving to be extra, extra vigorous. There's nothing like hybrid vigor. I wish I had more to give you guys today, but I did just get back, like I said, from vacation, and I'm flowing back into the greenhouse. There's so much stuff, but the next video will be a lot longer, and I'll let you guys sit there and like drool a little more. If you have any ideas on something you'd like to see, let me know, maybe we could get that. I'm not sure I'm ready for a lowland tour yet, maybe, uh, but just 
put some ideas below and we'll see what we could come up with you guys. Well, I'm gonna go drool over this beautiful picture and I will see you guys next week for another awesome plant video. Thanks for watching, guys.